guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions and messages from you guys asking me what my favorite way to apply my foundation is. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, or at least my makeup tutorials, you would see that I kind of switch back and forth between the tools that I use and the way I apply my foundation. I go through these phases where I just use one specific tool for months at a time. So I'll use my beauty blender for like three months and use nothing else. And then I'll just get kind of sick and bored of it and then switch to a buffing brush and then realize how much I miss my buffing brush. So I'll use that for months at a time. And it also depends on what kind of foundation I'm wearing that day is how I pick what I use use to apply that foundation. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to show you my favorite foundation brushes for each type of foundation that you might be using. I'm not saying this is the rule, this is the only foundation brush you can use with a cream foundation and so on. This is just my preference, what I find works best with each type of foundation. So I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you find it helpful, and so without further ado, let's get started. So I have all different types of foundations in front of me. I'm missing one, which is the aerosol foundation or the spray foundation. I did order the Sephora one during the VIB sale, but I cannot find it for the life of me. It's sitting around here in my room somewhere in like the piles of makeup that I have laying around, but that's the only type of foundation that I'm missing. And then of course I have all of my brushes here. I know this looks like an unreasonable amount of brushes for one person to have, but I promise I kind of use each and every single one of them so they don't go to complete waste. So the first type of foundation I'm going to talk about is the one that we're most familiar with and most accustomed to, which is the liquid foundation. So I have four to show you guys. I'm sure you all know what a liquid foundation is, but this one is from Maybelline. This is the matte and poreless, which is actually what I'm wearing today. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which is an amazing foundation, and of course my Holy Grail Foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow. So all of these are liquid foundations. They may vary a little bit in their consistency and how thick they are, but mostly they're all liquid foundations. So my favorite way to apply a liquid foundation, and I think everyone's favorite way to apply their liquid foundation, is with a beauty sponge. And I have four that I absolutely love and really want to share with you guys. They kind of vary between higher end and then lower drugstore prices. So this one is from NYX. Mine's dirty because I used it to apply my foundation today. And this is the NYX sponge. Um, it's a really great shape. It's kind of bouncy with the flat bottom like the Beauty Blender, but on the side there's like a flat um, surface that comes to a point, which is really great to blending out your concealer as well under your eyes. But this is a really great sponge. It's very bouncy, and again, this is it wet. So when it is dry, it's a little bit smaller. But I find that the bouncy part is really great for pouncing on, I always say pounce, bouncing on my foundation and blending it into my skin really well. And then of course, this part is really great to get around the inner corners of your eyes or around your nose area. Another great beauty sponge that's affordable is from Morphe. I believe this one is $6.99, and this is the beauty sponge dry so when it is wet it does double up in size this is another really really great sponge it's very bouncy it's not too firm but not too flimsy either for a beauty sponge I've tried beauty sponges before that are too soft where it just soaks up all the foundation and it doesn't evenly spread it out and blend out into your skin but this one is kind of like the middle ground between soft and firm it's just like the perfect texture the only downside to this is that this point up here is not pointy enough to get under my eyes. It's great for baking your under eyes with translucent powder, but for blending out your concealer, I find that I have to really kind of like smush it down, get it to be a little bit skinnier to get right into that inner corner, but that's my only downside. This next one is from Mimi Box. Again, this sponge is dry. It does double up in size, and the texture is really nice when it's wet. It's nice and bouncy, and I really like the shape of this. This is very, actually it might be identical to the Real Technique beauty sponge which I also love but mine kind of got shredded and destroyed so I had to throw that one out um, and kind of go through all these other ones before I go back and repurchase that one but the Real Techniques one is actually a really great one as well and that's $5.99 I believe. It's pointy on one side so it's great for blending out your under eye concealer but you also have this flat top which is really nice for bouncing on your foundation. So you can't talk about beauty sponges without mentioning the Beauty Blender. This is my Holy Grail Beauty Blender. It's just worth every penny that you spend on it. It is pricey for a makeup tool, but you can get them in a double pack to save a little bit of money. 
but it's just completely worth it. It's so nice and soft and fluffy. This is the Beauty Blender Wet, so it is a little bit smaller when it is dry, but it's just so soft, so bouncy. It doesn't absorb all of your liquid foundation, so you're still getting the right coverage without applying too much and looking cakey. It's just perfect for liquid foundations. I feel like you can't really go wrong with a beauty sponge or the Beauty Blender. You just get a really flawless, natural looking coverage, and I just really love it. So those were the beauty sponges that I would really recommend for liquid foundations. But if beauty sponges aren't your thing, I'm gonna talk about some brushes that I also really like to apply my foundation with. So we've all seen the standard and typical foundation brush, which looks like this. This one is from It Cosmetics but I actually absolutely hate applying foundation with this brush. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong when I'm using this foundation brush, but you can use this to apply your liquid foundation. I just really wouldn't recommend it, or it's just not my favorite way, but I figured I would mention it anyways if you have one of these laying around. My favorite ways to apply my liquid foundation would be with a buffing brush or a like buffing stippling brush. So this one is from Real Techniques. This one is just been in my collection for so long that it's wearing off. I think it's called the Stippling Brush. Obviously, I've used it because I do love this brush. It's very soft. It's not too dense, but it's not too flimsy either. It has a nice, like, give and push to it when you apply your foundation. So this one is really great if you want fuller coverage because it is smaller in surface area so you're able to work your foundation in in smaller circles and really blend it into your skin and cover up the problematic area and of course the phone rings every single time another type of foundation brush that i really love for liquid foundations or like all types of foundation are buffing brushes this one is another real techniques one this is called their buffing brush and this one is the sephora and it is I don't know what number this is. Oh, here we go. This is their Pro Flawless Airbrush Foundation Brush number 56. This is really great when I'm having a really bad skin day and really need to buff in my foundation and kind of work in those problematic areas. So if you have like acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, or like me today, I have this lovely little zit growing right there. I use this to just kind of like blend in my foundation and concealer and just work the product in this small area and really able to buff it into my skin so that it doesn't look cakey, but you're also getting the most coverage out of your foundation. And this guy, same thing. This guy I really like when I'm in a hurry because it is so big and dense and fluffy. You're able to cover a lot of surface area in one swipe so I feel like this is the most like convenient super quick effective way to apply any foundation you just kind of buff it into your skin and you're good to go so let's move on to our next type of foundation which is a thicker type of consistency the ones I have to show you from my collection is the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation this is a very 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 thick and creamy foundation as well as the a cosmetic CC cream Every time I film, someone wants to call, text, both of these are very thick in consistency. If you pump this out into your hand or this one and you just hold your hand upside down, the foundation is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to drip, it's not going to slide, it's not going to move. So because they are so thick in consistency, I don't think the Beauty Blender or even these dipping brushes work well with these type of foundation because they need something that kind of push back on the resistance that is their consistency. So for me, I absolutely love just any type of buffing brushes, really, really dense buffing brushes for these types of foundation. This one is from the Up and Up Target brand. I love this brush. It's very, very dense, so you're not able to really push it back and forth and it's not flexible. So you're really able to work the thickness of the foundation into your skin. Another one I really like is from Crown Brush and this is their blush brush. This is a little bit too dense and um, I don't know, it just doesn't work for a blush brush for me, but it works great as a foundation brush. This is a really nice small tapered brush, so you're really able to get into like the corners of your nose, under your eyes, um, around your mouth area. It's just a really nice, again, dense brush. And then the other one I really like that's similar to the crown one is from Real Techniques. This one is their Expert Face Brush. Again, this is a drugstore brand, very affordable. This one is very, very dense, so it feels really, really nice buffing your foundation into your skin. It kind of just feels like a face massage. And again, this one is kind of like a curved shape, so you're able to get into any corners and really buff your foundation into your skin. 
these three brushes are amazing for thicker, creamier types of foundations. So the next type of foundation that we have is very similar to the last one, except for it's in a stick form. So this is the Makeup Forever HD um, Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. It's your typical stick foundation. You kind of just glide it on your skin and blend it out. Again, I really wouldn't use a beauty sponge because it doesn't pick up the foundation the right way to evenly distribute it across your face. So again, with this, any kind of dense foundation brush like these three that I just mentioned would be really really great. You can also use this buffing one um, because it isn't as thick as the cream foundations. This one would work really well because it's still flexible but still dense enough to be able to spread the foundation across your face evenly. So this one was pretty easy. You can use pretty much any kind of foundation brush. Okay, so we have our last type of foundation which is your powder foundation. Now for me, I don't really wear powder foundation as my foundation ever. If I wear like a little bit of concealer, I'll just dust my face with a powder foundation to kind of give me a little bit of extra coverage, but I never really wear powder foundation as my just foundation base. But these two I really like. Um, this one is the Celebration Foundation Illumination from It Cosmetics, and this is the Bare Minerals Pro Glow um, Performance Wear Powder Foundation. So I'm sure you guys have all seen what a powder foundation looks like, but if you haven't, this is what it looks like. It's just a very um, finely milled, very highly pigmented powder that's kind of pressed into this compact. So these types of foundations, I find the best way to apply them is with a powder brush because it is a powder foundation. One of my favorite powder brushes is from It Cosmetics. This is their Chic Powder Brush. I love this. It's very like dense but still very flexible and kind of like easy to apply to your face. It's very, very soft. It also comes to like a nice tapered point at the top. So this is really great if I just want to like blot throughout the day or touch up my makeup. I'll just kind of apply it onto my face like this or you can like buff it into your skin if you want a fuller coverage. But for me, if I'm just gonna be like blotting my oils away or just touching up my foundation, I'll just kind of lightly tap it in those areas where I need a little bit of coverage. Or if I just need to like mattify the area that I'm working on, I'll just kind of tap it on my face like this. But if you're gonna apply this as your foundation base, then just take a really big fluffy brush. This is from It Cosmetics. So you just take this, buff it into the product and then blend it onto your face and you get a really nice even layer. I do love powder foundation because they are so lightweight. You barely ever feel them sitting on your skin. They just don't give me as much coverage or um, kind of dewiness that I like in my liquid foundations. So again, just a really big fluffy brush. Um, another one that's affordable is from it Cosmetics, this is their multitask brush. I use this brush for everything, hence multitask. But this is a really great foundation brush if I'm gonna be using a powder foundation over my concealer. It's really nice because it is very flexible and um, fluffy, but there's still like a little bit of denseness and density to it in the middle. So you just kind of rub this all over your powder foundation and again just buff it all over your skin and it gives a really beautiful flawless finish so again the only type of foundation i'm really missing is like the aerosol can ones or the spray foundations if you are using those or if you are interested in using a spray foundation i know the dior flash is really really popular and i wish i can find my sephora one i can't believe i just lost it in the sephora order but if you're going to be using those types of foundation my favorite way to apply it is with this brush again this is a real techniques buffing brush I don't like to actually spray my face with the foundation. Do not ever ever do that if you are trying out a spray foundation for the first time. It is very messy. You will get it on your clothes, in your hairline, on your bed sheets, in your towels. It just goes everywhere. I would just recommend spraying a little bit of it onto a buffing brush and then using the brush to blend it into your skin like you would a liquid foundation because Essentially, a spray foundation is a liquid foundation. You just shake it up and spray it out. But yeah, I would definitely recommend a buffing brush when using um, a spray foundation. So I think that's it, guys. Those were all the types of foundations and what brushes or tools I recommend using with each type of foundation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. And it says that you can use this on top of makeup to set it or on clean skin to immediately tone your skin.